Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. And I'm on Joran's farm. I've been asked by a couple of uh, subscribers to do just a couple of short videos explaining a little bit about how this map works and some of the uh, different types of things you're going to encounter. So what I did was I have been live streaming this farm and I've got uh, many hours into it already on the live streams. I'm not bringing the live streams over to the YouTube page. They just don't transfer very well. I did one a couple days ago and the video quality coming from the live stream over to YouTube is just terrible. I didn't uh, like it at all, but I was trying to show everybody that, um, that I am playing Joran's map. I'm just not playing it on YouTube. I'm live streaming it. So at any rate, I'm going to do a couple of videos. If you want to go see the what I'm doing with Joran's Farm on Twitch, uh, get yourself a Twitch account and go over to RudeMan53, and uh, you'll find it. I've been doing, gosh, I did. I've been doing, for the last week or so, five, six, seven, eight hours of uh, at a time of uh, Joran's map. So I've got quite a few over there, though unfortunately I'm not a partner over there, so the videos don't stay, but only two weeks. So, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I've, this is a brand new game that I just started. Let's, let's just dive into it. I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this in a form that will be linear, but I doubt if I'm going to be able to stick to that. First of all, when you first download the map, you get $5 million, you get a ferry and those trains running on the tracks over there. So. What I'm going to do is buy a couple of pieces of equipment. And there's quite a bit of equipment that you can start with. For that $5 million, you're not going to get a whole lot, so you've got to get, be kind of picky to start with. First thing I do is buy a harvester, at least. Uh, and then we're going to need a truck. So if you go in here, you'll see... Um, to the end here there is a Maverick equipment folder if you click on that there's the ferry you've already got it don't worry about it you've got the um, animal truck you've got a, a utility truck for transporting animal products if you make the products from the animals uh, you're gonna have the regular animals and you're gonna have uh, production animals then you've got the Homer harvester here for your specialty crops that you're going to have. you got a multi-fruit uh, cedar here. You've got the headers for that homer over here and you can see that you've got lettuce, you've got onions, you get sugar beets, potatoes, sugar cane, and um, a product trailer. Now the product trailer is going to be really important. What this does, this hauls all the products that you can make that will go on pallets. So you're going to need this. Uh, not right away, because you're not going to have any of that stuff, but sooner or later, you're going to need this. The first thing you want to buy, though, is um, is a uh, header for the uh, sugar cane, because we're going to be doing sugar cane right away. So let's buy that. And then we need to buy the homer. All right, Laura. Okay, we'll start off with that. Oh, truck. We're going to need a truck. All right, so go back to Joran's farm right here. And these are Joran's mods. And it starts off with mostly trucks. So this is it's pretty much all trucks, a couple of trailers. Now, you got the IT runner. If you like to use those, those are here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of IT runner, but uh, some people are. Uh, then you got a DAF truck. You've got some more IT runner stuff. You've got a Kogel trailer. This one's interesting. I have not used this yet, but it looks like it's got a canvas cover on it. Here is a Pro V Liner Ultra. That's kind of cool. This one you're definitely going to need later on. Uh, this is your liquid transport. 
but this is special because this will be allow you to do the liquid cement and you're going to need that later on there's a low rider there's a Mack truck one of my favorites by the way so I'll probably buy that and then there's a Berg trailer this is nice I'll show you that in a second you got a, a bunch of Mercedes-Benz trucks you've got a, a Volvo this one also is pretty nice and you've got a Peterbilt and you've got a white Volvo and, and that one's that one's kind of nice too and then you've got the Peterbilt uh, and a Scania this Peterbilt uh, is I like better than this one over here this one over here the double D's this one's sweet it's old school oh my gosh it sounds wonderful so uh, I'll be getting probably this one that one and the um, and the Mac I like the Mac probably my favorite I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a Mac and then I'm going to buy this trailer this is a grain trailer uh, it's kind of nice because if you look at it I'm gonna put an attacher on it now just in case I want to uh, run dualies later uh, but yeah this is kind of cool because this trailer holds 500,000 liters of product okay so that's the start for now that's a good start for now let's grab the uh, truck first here and if you've looked at the map at any um, in any way you're gonna find out there's a river that runs all the way through the map and we have to get across that river because that's where our fields are all right so we take a look at the map let's look at the big map here you're gonna see the river runs all the way through it if you go to the north of the river you're gonna see that you actually own when you start the map field 28 29 5 and 6 now 5 and 6 are very good size uh, fields uh, 28 29 even though they don't look very big they're they're probably medium sized on this map and that's still pretty big so we need to get across the river if you look at the blinky thing at the shop towards the center of the map that blinky green light is us the green light above it is the ferry we need to take that ferry and if you look at the blue arrows that go around it shows you the route you have to take so let's do so Jordan did a very very good uh, job with these uh, mods here they're very well made so we're gonna take our first ferry ride Now the ferry's been remodeled since the the very first day the map came out in that the first time I drove the ferry I was going with my truck probably too fast. I drove onto the ferry and I slammed the brakes on and the ferry, now you notice it rocked there before it shot across the river. Uh, Maverick added a um, an anchor to the ferry. So now we have an anchor on the ferry. If you look at the speedometer in the lower right hand corner, you're gonna see a red anchor. That means the anchor is down. So the first thing we wanna do is button up this uh, weight that we've got on here. So you'll see there's a way to lock the load. You wanna lock the load. That locks that trailer onto the ferry. And then we need to Put the uh, barriers down so it doesn't roll off, which it's not going if you've got it locked on there. And then we're going to lift the the uh, ramp up on the ferry. Now we're ready to go, but the anchor's down. If you try to drive it now, it's going to give you a warning. You can't drive it without the anchor up. So if you hit the R key... I love the sound of that anchor. It's so sweet. And you're ready to go. So follow the buoys around the corner here. And we're going to cross the river. Now, why are we taking the ferry? 
It's the only way across the river. There's no other way. There is no road except for a train uh, trestle, a train bridge that goes across the river. So we have to take the ferry to get across. Now, you're not always going to have to because that's one of the first things that we're gonna try to do is to make a bridge. You have to build the bridge. There's quite a few factories you're gonna have to build if you want to use them. Nothing's, you know, complete. You don't have to do it if you don't want to use the factory. But hey, that's part of the fun of the map. So just follow these buoys around. As long as you do that, you'll be okay. There's a, a, a quite a deep channel here for you. Now we are going to have to buy, I wanted to get some of the equipment off the, out of the shop first, but we're going to have to buy a regular harvester also, and we'll do that in a second. I wanted to get the first piece of equipment across the river. Alright, now we're ready to open the barrier, drop the anchor again, hit the R key. <laughs> there goes the anchor. Once we got the anchor down, we can lower the ramp and unlock the load. Okay, the load is unlocked. Now we can jump over to our truck. And we can drive it off the ferry. The ferry now, with the anchor down, will not move. It'll stay there for you, so you can drive on and off it without worrying about dumping your truck in the water. Okay, we're going to go from the uh, port dock here out to our fields, which are really close right here. They're just beyond this shell station right here. So I'm actually going to take a shortcut because I'm kind of in a hurry. I want to get as much done in this uh, little video here as I can, so I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut right here. Now, the first explanation of what you have to do right away, well, I shouldn't say it that way because you don't have to do anything, but this is the suggested way. You have your two fields over here, and they have hemp on them. We have sugar cane on this one. And they're ready to go. They're they're ready to uh, to harvest, and we're going to start with that. And then you've got field number six. This field here to the right is huge. It's a very large field. Then field number six here is in corn, and again, it's a very big uh, field. Now, why do we need those three? I'll show you in a second here. Let me get back to my truck. Let me put this hang on, I'm going to put this in a category so I can find it real easy. And then we'll put this in two. Alright. You get back to the truck. We're going to go into the shell factory here. This is your fuel factory. The reason why we need those three crops because that's what we're going to need to make fuel. There's two million in these four silos will hold two million corn. Same as this one, two million sugar cane. This one, two million hemp. Those three products are what you need to make fuel. You're going to need a lot of fuel. So, and that's exactly why they have been seeded to start with on your fields. So we're gonna go back and get our uh, harvesters. I'm gonna buy another harvester and I want to get those over here, but I don't want to show you on the ferry because it's going to take a lot of my time. So let me get them over here and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. And after a couple of short ferry rides, we've got all of our equipment over here that we've purchased so far. I'll show you the rest of the combines in a second here. We're going to start this guy off doing some sugarcane. I'm going to do a little bit of sugarcane and hemp and corn 
and we'll come back and start making some fuel. Uh, in the meantime, I'll show you why we need to do this. Or why you're going to want to, at any rate. Once we get this unfolded, we're going to start the header up. And off we go. So we're going to be doing some sugar cane here, and then let's get to our hemp. Let's start the hemp. Hemp is going to need a corn header. To start off with, everything that you're going to do is going to need corn headers, except for, of course, the sugar cane, which needs its own harvester. We're going to hire a worker here and start on the hemp. Let's go to our other combine, get it opened up. This is the corn. Believe it or not, even as big as these fields are, you're going to need to do several harvests of at least corn and hemp. Let's go with the corn. We're going to grab our truck and get it ready. And then while that stuff is going, let me show you why we're doing this. Why do we need so much fuel? Why are we doing these three to begin with? Um, and um, what we're going to be doing with all the fuel. So here we are. This is the building site for the bridge. Now the bridge will start its construction right here on this road here. And it will go across the river and up to that area right there. You have to build a bridge and the bridge takes several things to construct. It takes concrete 400,000 liters. It takes steel tubes 200,000 liters. Steel beams 200,000 liters. Curb stones 400,000 liters. Gravel 400,000 liters. Cement 200,000 liters. Sand 600,000 liters and water 600,000 liters. So what you do is you either collect or make those items and place them in here and this bridge will now be built. Now that's uh, it's kind of a daunting task but then uh, if you do it the way I did I didn't work just on the bridge. Um, I, I started gathering all the, the uh, the things you're going to need while I'm farming. So I would suggest uh, it's going to take time for all of this. So don't let it get to be to where it's a burden. If you're if you're going to get into this and you're going to say I want to build that bridge, and you set your mind to it, work on it. What I did was I wanted to play the map. I wanted to do other things. So. What I'll do, what I did was I started first off making the fuel. I've got to do these crops. So I farm the crops. Uh, that gives me the fuel, which you're going to need to make all of these items. Everything here is going to take fuel of some kind. So uh, I, would just, I would just work on the farming part and start working on the bridge or any other thing you want first. In my mind, the bridge was the most important because I want to get that equipment uh, easily across from the other side. I want to keep going back and forth uh, without having to take the ferry every time. All right, so this thing is running. I just finished putting the last of the corn in. We didn't get much corn. We only got about, uh, now it's been running for a minute, so we had about 500,000 in there. So a half a million is all the corn we got off that field. We did get two million which is down because again like I said it's making fuel right away as soon as I finish putting the corn in started the hemp we got a little bit more of so we got a little bit over a half of uh, a load of of hemp in there it was a million something 
So we did get more hemp than we did corn. Uh, but it's running now. We're making fuel. We're going to let it make some fuel for a minute. The fuel is comes out over here onto this tanker here. So we've already got 100,000 units of fuel made. And like I said, you need fuel for everything. Now, like I said, we had a little bit over a million of the hemp. We had a half a million corn off of that harvest. And we had two million in sugarcane, but that wasn't all the sugarcane. Let's take a look here. We have 9,777,300 in addition to the 2 million that we have in that tank back there. So that was all one harvest. Here's what I did. I plowed this under and I planted other stuff. Actually what I did is I plowed this under and I planted more corn because I didn't get enough corn. We need a lot of fuel, a lot of fuel. So I planted this in corn and I planted that great big field number six over there in corn. If you look at the map, that field number six over there was the corn field and we only got a half a million un units out of that. So I planted five and six in corn. If I had to start this map over again, I would not have done that. I would have left it the way it is right here. I'd have got two more harvests out of this because you can get three full harvests out of sugarcane before the yields start to deteriorate. So I never do any more than three uh, harvests on sugarcane without replowing and replanting. But that's up to you. It's your game. Um, but I would leave it. And the reason why is I ran out of money and uh, because I wanted to buy more stuff. I wanted to buy more stuff, and I, and I didn't have the money for it. So I would... I would uh, leave that two million in there to make fuel and I would maybe take another two million and set it aside so I could make a second run of fuel and I would take the rest of the sugarcane and just sell it for money uh, because it, it, the yields are so great on it you can just do that I would then take field number six and field 29 and 28 and plant nothing but corn because you're not getting enough corn uh, to make the fuel you need. That's what I would do. That's what I did before. The only difference is I did it on this field here. But uh, no, I would do that because um, that you're going to need a lot more corn. And then I would do a little bit more hemp too. I did at least another, uh, another uh, field number six in hemp to keep the hemp up. Now you saw that you had pretty good yield on the hemp. So that's what you want to do. Now, once you have the fuel, what are you going to do? Well... You want us to take that uh, fuel and put it where you need it. So you're going to wait for the train to come around if you don't want to go find it. Let me go find the train. Okay, this is the first train. It's not the one you want. That's a grain train. This is your lumber train. It also has uh, some grain cars on it. This is your uh, another grain train. This is your fuel train. And it's fuel, and also it has some flatbeds on it. Now, what you have to know about the trains is this. The trains... And that one just came from our farm right there. The trains will haul about everything you need. And if it goes on a pallet, you can store it. And everything that you produce is going to come on a pallet. Uh, so not, so not all of the raw materials, but... But the stuff that you're going to produce is going to come on a pallet, and you can store it. Now, right here is a fuel station. There's three of them on the map. This one is just as you're coming into town. Uh, we're going to ride the train around, and I'll show you the others. Okay, but here's the thing. Your trains on your map aren't going to run like this. I have a mod in here. It's called Loco Drive. And what it does is it make your train it makes your trains run all the time. That's kind of cool because they're not just sitting around waiting for something. They're running around and it, like they're going somewhere. Okay, to take control of it, you hit the left control and the down arrow. And now I have control of the train and I can drive it. So I'm going to speed it up. And 
and in a second we're going to be coming to a fuel station up here now you're going to spend a lot of time before you make that bridge right here this is where you're going to make all your concrete and all your cement you're going to spend a lot of time here so that's why this fuel's real convenient right here all right so dump dump your fuel uh as much as you can get to start with uh, i'm i'm impatient so i dumped a couple of tankers in there to start with um, and then let let it makes that that factory make some more fuel for me now up here you see this these pumps see that zero up there that means i don't have any fuel at this service station if i bring a car in here or a truck and get fuel out of this it's going to cost me money okay once you put fuel in this tank it'll load it into the service station that meter will show an amount whatever amount is in there is yours you made it it don't cost you no money so uh, that's kind of cool now the first thing I'd do is I'd grab grab some of this fuel and I'd run down this road here and around the corner it, we're heading for the quarry because we need ore and lots of it so you got a staging area here where you can get water if you need it, and you're going to need water. Uh, you can do your fertilizer and seeds and stuff up here, just storage for the farmland around this area. But here is a fuel depot. I'd start chucking fuel in here because right there's the quarry, and that quarry's going to take a lot of fuel. So if you just bring a, a couple of, um, you know, any kind of fuel that you want with your fuel truck over here and dump it, it's going to be handy later on. Next thing you want to do is you want to come up here and get your raw materials. Now here's your lumber. You're going to need pallets along with the this with the ore. If you run down this uh, road down here, you're going to come around a corner here, and this is your gravel. You're going to need gravel. Interestingly enough, if you wait time, this gravel pile will grow. So. What you're gonna need, front end loader and a truck. Then around here, you're gonna find your sand. Same thing, front end loader, truck. Just start hauling this stuff over to the uh, factory where you're gonna make your cement and your uh, concrete. Now, uh, again, bring your trucks back up here. We got more raw material to get. And I'll show you where that's at. Just follow this road here up into the quarry. The first one you come to is going to be ore. You, you're not going to need ore right away, but you are going to need it to make the steel. So you put fuel in here, and that's all you need to do. Make sure these things are 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 uh, got got some fuel in them, a good amount of fuel. As long as you do, this thing will keep running. This is where you're going to get your ore, and all you need is the fuel. And it'll, this machine will start digging your ore for you. Next thing you're going to need. Run up this road right here. Good thing I got my speed boots, huh? Okay. So, this road splits off here. If you go this way, you're going to go down to this area, which is salt. Now, you don't need salt right away. Unless you're doing something besides the bridge. But there's your salt. You put uh, fuel in there. You get your salt right there. This time, we're going to take that side road. Did I miss it? I did. Here's the side road. We're going to go up the hill a little bit farther. This is right above the salt mine. Okay. If you come clear around here, this is your coal area. Put some fuel in here. There's your coal. You grab it right here. That's what you're going to use to fuel the machine that makes the uh, the uh, concrete. I have trouble with concrete and cement. It's, I keep wanting to say one for one and one for the other. But anyway, then the next thing is going to go up here. This is the very, 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 very most important thing you need right here, and it's stone. And again, you put fuel in there, and this thing will run. That's all you need to do. Let's go down the hill here. And so those are all your resources you're going to need. You need lumber, sand, gravel, ore, 
later on. Ore is not the not a priority because you don't need that to start making the steel, and you need other things before you can make the steel. So, come out of here. I'll talk about lumber in a minute. Come back over here. Run down this road right here. And this is your factory for making all of that stuff. If you look, it's a crusher. Takes stone and fuel. You get three items out of it. And I'll show you that in a second. So all you do is bring your stone in here. Again, the stone's the most important thing to start with. You're going to need lots of it. You throw your stone in this bin right here. You throw some fuel in this tank right here. You have to watch this tank because it doesn't hold very much. Now the tanks that are up on the uh, quarry, they hold a ton. So you don't need to f worry about filling them right away. Just make sure you got some fuel in each one of them and make sure you go up there on a regular basis and top and not top it off, but give it a little bit more. If you try to fill them up, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take a lot of fuel because they hold a lot. So just get some in there to get it started and then as you're making more fuel, run up there and put some more in. Now that tanker up there that you're going to do that with, if you use, if you use the in-game uh, equipment, the Jorn farm stuff, you're going to need that tanker because this tanker not only holds your water and your fuel and milk and stuff like that, it also holds the concrete. And you're not going to have anything else that's going to take the concrete, so you need this one. It holds 500,000, so a half a million units of whatever you put in it now once you put the uh, stone in there and get that thing started starts on its own all it takes is fuel you're gonna make three things out of that stone you're gonna make lime you're gonna make lime stone and you're gonna make gypsum the gypsum I would take out of this thing and take it to storage you don't need it right away what you do with that is you're gonna make drywall with that the bridge doesn't need drywall so don't worry about that and I'll show you where the storage is in a minute once the stone starts producing this the first thing you want to do is grab some of this lime right here and you're gonna run it over here and you're gonna put it in that third unit right there run to the quarry grab some gravel dump it in there grab some sand dump it in there pretty easy and then you're gonna to have to make the cement so the way, the way you do that is you grab not the lime, but the limestone. And you bring the limestone around the corner here, and you dump it in this bin right here. The only thing that this takes to run on is limestone and pallets. The reason it needs pallets is the limestone will make the cement, and it puts it on a pallet and puts it over here for you to pick up. So you are going to need pallets right away. So that's that's how the cement is made. How is the concrete made? Well, the concrete made is made by putting those items in here. Like I said, you're going to need some cement first, though. So once you get some C, some pallets made and get some cement made, you take it down there and put it in that fourth unit right over there. Then you grab yourself some water, dump it in this water bin right here, and you grab yourself some coal from the quarry up there. That's how you're going to power this plant. Put all that stuff in there and walk away. It's going to make concrete for you. And you need that tanker up there. The only one that will work to pick up your concrete later on. One thing to note is if you drive under here with your uh, tanker, this is an auto fill. So if you bring your tanker down here to put water in and you just kind of jaunt along and pull under this thing to get out of here, if you have concrete in here, it's going to dump it automatically into that tanker. So if you don't want concrete right at that time, don't drive under there. Drive around it. Right, so that's how you make all of that stuff, your cement and your concrete. Pretty simple. It just takes a lot of time to get all those resources. Once you get all of that done, you also need uh, steel. So we're going to run over to the steel plant. Whenever you get a chance, keep pumping fuel in that for storage. Because you're going to be making a lot of, a lot of, uh, whoa, holy smokes. Oh, holy smokes. Sounds like a Christmas song, doesn't it? Okay, run across here. And before we go to the steel, you are going to need 
raw concrete on the bridge itself, but you also need curb stones. That's what you get at this factory. That factory over there makes uh, stone, um, what do they call it? Uh, stone blocks. This is going to make concrete blocks. I'm sorry, concrete blocks. That's not what you need right now. You will, when you start building other things like the, uh, oh, let's say you're going to make the sugar factory. You're going to need concrete blocks to make the walls. So what you do, you put pallets in here. Remember I told you, you need lots of pallets. Pallets in there. You put gravel here. You put sand here. Get that concrete or that cement. Did I say concrete? I'm sorry. You're going to make, you're going to take cement and bring it here, not concrete. Put cement and bring it here. And then water and the concrete blocks will come out of here. Okay. So you've got two uses for cement right away. One directly on the bridge and one to make the, uh, the curbs. Here's your steel plant over here. And you come in here, and you're going to need fuel. Again, you're going to need pallets. Pallets, because your steel's going to go onto pallets. You're going to need some of that lime that comes from the stone that you're quarrying. You're going to need some of that ore I told you about. And you're going to need coal to power this plant. That's pretty much it. It's just a matter of gathering all that stuff and bringing it over here. When you fire this plant up, your steel is going to come out over here on pallets. Steel pipe output and your steel output. There you go. You now, uh, after you make enough of that stuff, you're going to have enough to uh, make the bridge, enough items to make the bridge. Okay, we're coming back to the service station here. There's the plant that makes the concrete over there and the cement. Uh, if you come through here, once you have anything that you want to store, whoa, hit by a train. Let's say you come over here with stone and this is full. You, you top it off. You've got some more stone. Uh, let's say you come down here and you've already got this thing running with your limestone and you've got some extra limestone or you've got some uh, lime that's extra not that you're gonna but just in case the gypsum for sure because you're not going to use it right away if this thing gets full it's going to stop working don't let it get full keep taking stuff out of it especially the gypsum because you're not going to be using it you're going to be using this stuff you're going to be taking it out on a regular basis but if that gypsum gets full this machine's going to stop uh, working that stone so get this stuff and I'll show you what you're going to do with it. Or anything else that you have extra. Like I said, if you come up here and you don't need the stone right at the minute and you've got a truckload and you've topped it off and you still have 400000 left in the truck, come around this way. Don't go down the road. Come through this hedge and across these tracks right here. It's my little shortcut, even though there's not a road here. You're going to come to this place right here and you're going to dump all that stuff. This is a storage for all your grains. Limestone, gypsum goes right in here. Over here, you're going to have your, um, your stone, your sand, gravel, salt, ore, and lime. You can put all your stuff in here that you have extra. If you go down the line here, you're going to see another storage unit. There's three of these on the map. They're all connected by the train. Uh, this is where you store anything on a pallet. And so your trailer goes in here if you're doing it by truck. Uh, trailer goes comes out there if you're picking stuff up to take it to market or someplace that you need. If it's on the train, then again, train in and out, train in and out. Whichever train comes in, you can put that stuff in there. Uh, the uh, The pallet stuff. So if you look at the map, you'll see that let me get a pointer here okay here's the one we're at here there's another one way up north this hat this is handy because this is where you're gonna make your pallets up here 
This, the third one is clear over here. Now, we were down here where the railroad's at, right here. When you, when you uh, cut your trees down here in this area, you bring them up here to the railroad train, put them on this train. This train's going to go around, and it's going to end up coming all the way over here. And when you drive across these, these uh, factories here, if they take logs, it's going to automatically dump them for you. So let me show you a little bit of a tip. Oh, it happens to be here right now. Hang on. Let me stop this guy. Okay, here's the secret. Here's a little tip. Also, you're going to have to bring fuel up here. And the easiest way to do that is bring fuel up here with the fuel uh, train. And, and dump it right there. See? Let me back up. There's three factories here. Now, this one over here is where you're going to make your uh, stuff to, for making drywall. Okay, so that doesn't take logs. But this one does. And see right there, that's where the logs go. And there's logs right here. Okay, this one here will make your shelves. This one is what you need to make your pallets right here. Now here's the tr here's the tip. I don't need shelves right away unless you're going to make a uh, a store of some kind. When you drive this train across this area right here, it's going to automatically unload those logs right here for the shelves. So, if you don't want shelves, make sure you bring this tractor this So, if you want to make pallets first, which I did, because I didn't need shelves right away. Don't bring the train forward. Don't bring it here. Make sure when you get the logs down at wherever you're uh, harvesting them, that you drive the train backwards. So the first area it's going to come to and drop logs is going to be where you want it. And not where you don't need it. Once you get the fuel in and the logs in here, this will start making pallets. Just drive your truck in here to pick up pallets and it takes a special truck that's that's in there and you drive it all the way down to this factory right here and you bring the pallet boards right here, you drop them off and this will make you some pallets right here. You can grab them and uh, store them with a the truck, store them in here until you bring your train around. You can put them on a flatbed train and take them to where you need them. That's all you need to know. Um, right now I'm gonna end this here and then I'm gonna, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like to start building that bridge because I'm to the point today where I just started the process. I put the last item in. So hang on and I'll get that video.